Hello. I will make a video on how to make uh, Mumfrey's Macrokine Keybind mod to work with Multi MC5. It's a little bit tricky to do, but I managed with some help to, to, to make, do it. Firstly, what you want to do is I'm going to create a new instance so I don't mess up with all, the, all these. So, you press new instance key here. I'm going to make this uh, macro mod tutorial. I'm going to use the version 1.6.4. Okay, now we have the instance here. I'm going to run it. By, by my Minecraft name is as you saw, Kakuina. I'm going to drag it over so you can see. There you go. I'm going to options, snoop settings off, clear settings to normal, like so. Now, if I'm creating a single player world here, okay, do. Here we go. You see, yeah, I am creative. And tools, I have new macro keys here. So, save and quit and quit out of the game. And now we're back here. What we want to do now is one thing if you want to have uh, Forge installed, is you're gonna do it. Right now, the first thing you wanna do. So you select, I'm gonna select the instance, edit mods over here. And the version is way out of this. Then press customize and install Forge. Then you choose the latest, latest one. Okay. This will revert and you need to the version up to this point instead of K. Yes, it's perfectly fine. Okay, close. And then run it by double clicking it again. And this time it will take a little bit longer time since it's going to have to uh, install Forge. But now it's done. See, we have a Minecraft Cooter Pack, Forge Mode Loader, and Minecraft Forge. Go down and quit the game. Okay, now to Light Mod. Here. here we have, have the macro, uh, the light loader. What I'm gonna do, then you use the Mumphrey's and manual installations advanced tab here. And uh, what we are going to do if we open and then instance folder. Now it opened up in my second screen here. Here we are. And we are gonna find a file named custom.esun. And I'm gonna open that in Notepad. Let's drag it and drop it. Here we are. And there's a lot of um, <laughs> lines here, but don't get confused. It's, I'm gonna walk you through this. So if I open this one again, the first we are going to do is to take this part, copy it, and go to and read here in the Minecraft arguments field, add an original argument, that one. Which means in Minecraft arguments field, and this field. So what we're going to do now uh, you can see it so says I've clipped in on two lines here. Uh, there we are. If I turn that off. And I can scroll all the way to the end here. The space and paste that. There we go. And I'm going back to the uh, form post here. And now we need to take this and copy it. Add the following library and to add the top of the library's array. And this means this uh, junk here. So 
So we're going to add it right here. There's one thing he hasn't mentioned, at least it's kind of obvious if you think about it. If you check here, here's comma, comma between every single one. So we would have to add that ourselves. So that should be all we have to do to install Live Loader when we launch it next time. So I'm going to go open up a MultiMC file. 0040 and launch it again. And uh, now we should see probably launch in my second screen here, so I'm going to drag it over again. And there we go. It will not show up here though. So to find out if it works, we have to download the micro mode. I'm going to do that now. Let's scroll down here and find download links for version 64 requires light loader. I should uninstall that by now. And download. Map. A lot of, tea. A lot of stuff downloaded. See, I already downloaded that. I'm not going to. Cut that one, close that one. Make sure we come the right instance here. Then you want to go into Minecraft, mods, and paste. I'm just going to remove that uh, parenthesis there. Like so. All we have to, should be have to do now is launch the game again. And hopefully, we shouldn't get a uh, error message. And once again, it opened in my second monitor, so I had to drag it over. Oh, now it created that macros folder. Good. And we have now installed Mark the Keybind mod with Forge in Minecraft 1.6.4. Castle, single player, Arch, going to full screen view mode. Oh, and I have to do that again. So, the actual main window comes up. Now, if I press my control key, it's the lower left corner of VR, over right, shift, uh, uh, whatever the key it is, you have now the micro key. So, I can press one here, say hello, and hey, you. If I can spell it correctly. So, now I can spam hello YouTube. And that's what you have to do to install Forge and Light Loader and Manfrey's Macro Keybind mod with Multi MZ. And, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can post them either. I uh, will probably on my YouTube channel in this video. Oh, it lags a little bit when I haven't record recording the videos out at the same time as I am playing Minecraft. But that is all you have to do, and uh, uh, have fun.